the next uh, uh, portion of pattern we're we'll looking at is that uh, the uh, high block, low block, uh, high block, reverse punch. Right. So in the uh, in the kata, we just finished uh, that the low block. So you step up. You've got the high block, low block, high block, reverse punch. Right. That's your key I knew there too. Right? So what we're going to look at there is a kind of uh, uh, defense against uh, lapel grab. So earlier we were talking about uh, the person reaching in uh, in order to grab you to hit you, and we didn't want that to happen, so we're using that parry, uh, block, grab, and strike. Yeah. Uh, in the pad drill, we just did it off the... The, the, the jab cross, he reaches in and we do. But, but the other application is you're, you're stopping them from grabbing your lapel and hitting you. Right? But sometimes they grab you, they get a hold of you. Right? What do you do then? Well, this part of the katas is giving us a strategy to deal with that. So, uh, let's see, let's just, we'll simulate your grab. Okay? So, what we're going to do here, you grab their, their uh, arm to control the arm, you know where it is. But the, the, the problem is here, he's probably going to start throwing there. Okay? Um, with, if that habit starts throwing, you just want to jam, get it down, and then start working it. For the purpose of the drill, we're going to assume that's not happening just for now, just for the purpose of the drill, okay? Because I need to get this thing here. So what we're going to do is, if it's really he's throwing, so let's throw something. I jam him. I'm going to use that wind up for the high block, thrust into his throat, okay? And you can just keep hammering away until he either drops, or what's probably going to happen is he's going to pull his hands back and start protecting his neck. Okay? So now we've got this problem again. He's covered up, right? He's going to cover. I'm going to use that next portion of the kata, the load block, to clear one of those hands away from his head. Step in, start striking his neck. Right? So, put that up here. so I'm going to start hitting his neck. Same thing, if it doesn't drop, he's probably going to pull those hands back to cover up. Okay? So I'm going to use the next part of the kata, which is reverse punch. I'm going to use that to open them up, and just put this here, and punch in a way. Okay? So what it would look like was I'm wailing away. He pulls his arms up to stop that. I clear it, start wailing. He pulls his hands up again to try to stop that. I clear this up and got my reverse punch. Right? And it can be to the head or wherever. So for our purposes, I want you to get it off to the side here so I can you know, punch it without hitting you. Okay? So again, so I just grab. I'm striking. So just put this up here. I'm striking here. And we're going to have to go a little bit soft because this is, you know. But, so strike here. Pull the hands back to, to cover up. I'm going to use that. Pull it down. Hand up. I'm going to be striking him in the throat. He's going to pull his arm, his arm back again. I'm going to clear here. Use that reverse punch there. Okay? So again, that's here. Clear the guard. Hit him in the throat. Clear his guard. Hit him again. Okay? Make sense? 